Hello everyone, it's Barbara, and it is time for Pick a Stack Wednesday, yay! Here's a little golden singing bell, and we got Kuan Yin joining us this morning. If you're new to Pick a Stack, what we do here is we've got three stacks, stack number one, stack number two, stack number three. Each stack contains one oracle card and two tarot cards from two different decks and a crystal. Your job is to think of an idea, issue, or question in your life and someone else's life for the whole world and then choose a stack or two stacks or all three stacks. Each stack tells a story and hopefully resonates with you. The golden singing bell helps us receive receive messages, receive golden energy, receive love and compassion from Quan Yin here, from the cards and the crystals, and from me. So, let's get started. If you chose stack number one, your stone today, is Dragon's Blood Jasper. Here we go, right there. Um, Dragon's Blood Jasper can enhance emotional balance, nurturing, and protection. It has a really nice balance of, of reds and greens in it, and that's really good for the heart chakra as well. Um, it can help promote patience and stimulate perception and personal power. It is believed to dissolve sadness and sorrow, self-pity, grief, and can even help dispel critical tendencies and close-mindedness. We need to send this all around the world, I think. Dragon's Blood Jasper can also help protect against nightmares and depression, aid memory, and can be used to cleanse the aura. So that is your fabulous crystal for the day. Your first card is from the Radiant Rider Weight deck. And it is the Nine of Swords. Not a real happy person there. Your second card <laughs> from the Grand Lux Tarot is the Ten of Swords. So, what's going on in your life, stack number one people? Um, are you feeling overwhelmed? Do you feel like there's too much going on in the world? Are you focusing on all the negative aspects of what's going on in the world? Because um, this is not a happy picture right here. This is, um, you need to make a change in your life. Stop focusing on all the negative. I mean, for this person here, it's keeping them up at night. They're just ruminating over all these swords. And this person feels bound and tied. I should probably cover that up. Um, bound and tied and just all these swords are aspects of things that you're worrying about or you're afraid of. And it is time to stop. You need to let these go. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is 19 swords. That's a lot of swords. Um, way more than one person can carry. So whatever you have going on your life, on in your life, um, you need to start letting some of that go. If you're concentrating on all the negative aspects of your life, of your community, of the world, um, remember there's things that you can help change and then there's things you can't. And if you can't make the change, then stop worrying about it. Instead of worrying about things, put positive energy towards them. So if there's an area of the world or your community or your family or your friends that really, really has you worried, turn off that worry faucet and turn on the love and compassion and forgiveness faucet. Send love and compassion and forgiveness wherever you're worrying, whatever you're afraid of. That's what needs more love and forgiveness and compassion and kindness. Because remember, love has a very high frequency 
And fear has a very low frequency. And this is your message to get out of fear mode. Get out of worry mode. And um, it's pretty darn obvious. You can't, you can't say, no, that's not what that means. That's totally what this means. You got two cards from two different decks. I don't choose the cards. My spirit guides and, and creator picks these cards. So um, this is definitely a message for somebody that you need to get out of this fear and worry mode. Those days are over. Send love and compassion and kindness and forgiveness to whatever you're afraid of and whatever you're worrying about. Okay? Wow, that was powerful. Your third card is from the secret language of light. And it is card number three. And this is called channeling. So let's see. Kuan Yin, can you help us with that? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Card number three. Channeling. <clears throat> you have the ability to tune into different streams of consciousness to gain wise information for healing and expansion. Channeling shifts your awareness so you can stream information from various frequencies. It is just like tuning into a radio station. If the information doesn't agree with you, tune into something different. You can't expect to hear rock music on a classical music station. With practice, you will be able to tune into your soul transmissions easily. You have focused a part of your stream of consciousness upon the earth plane to experience life in new and varied ways. Your soul loves you so much. It is always transmitting this love and truth, even when you have forgotten. So that is very interesting that that comes after these two cards because we're concentrating on worries and fears. And this is saying channel your higher self and pay attention to higher frequency information, knowledge, and wisdom. Okay. So this is the higher frequencies. This is the lower frequencies. So get out of this mode. Stop worrying. Stop being afraid and channel the higher frequencies, okay? Love, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, all the good stuff. So <clears throat> that is stack number one today. Wow, that was super powerful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stack number two, your stone is snow quartz. This one came through to me this morning so powerfully. It was the first one because when I meditate, the first thing I do is I ask, okay, which crystals? And this one was like, boom, in my face. So snow quartz is a powerful stone. It's in the quartz family, so it can help um, store energy, amplify it, focus it, transmit it, transform it, balance it, and absorb it. Quartz is amazing. It is a higher frequency crystal. Um, snow quartz can stimulate a love for the truth and foster clarity of mind. And we all need that these days. It can enhance personal levels of tact and cooperation and can help us think before we speak. We need to send this all over the place. It can help us to feel more pure and is sometimes used in purification ceremonies. It is a bringer of good fortune, peace, and wisdom and can bring us closer to our higher power and become more spiritually minded. Now, the word pure came to my mind with this stone. It's th this pure white, um, a lot of times is what we think of when we think of higher powers or higher beings. A lot of times there's a lot of white around. So um, that's exactly what this represents. So that is, <clears throat> excuse me, that is your crystal for the day. <clears throat> I'm going to lose my voice. Your first card is from the Radiant Rider Weight deck, and you have the King of Swords. Isn't that interesting? Because stack number one had 19 swords. 
But now here's the king of swords. The king of sword, swords has mastered the swords. And your second card is from the Tarot Grand Lux, and you've got the tower. So you've got a tower, you've got a king, and you've got a siren in the background <laughs> for a little emphasis. The tower represents a change, either a change that needs to be made or a change that's that you're making. You're either choosing to make it or it needs to be made. And the fact that you have the king with it, this is the king of swords, which is the king of truth. The king has mastered the sword. In stack number one, we had 19 swords, and that's just too many things being dealt with, but the king has mastered all of that. So it's almost like this stack number two follows stack number one. Once you master all your swords, you become the king of your castle, so to speak, the king of your kingdom. And male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, so the 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 tower, um, if you think about like a forest fire, we think of a forest fire as, as horrible, but Mother Earth sees a forest fire as a way to renew and rebirth. So a lot of times what's going on with a tower moment is um, a rebirthing. It's shedding the old stuff so that the better new stuff can come in. And it doesn't have to be material possessions. Um, it doesn't have to be physical stuff. It could be love a relationship, a job, a new home. But there's something falling apart or that needs to fall apart so that the new can come in. And you're already the king of your castle. You already are. You've mastered the truth. So now there's just things that need to fall apart so that your new castle can come into being. You've mastered this. It's not even like you've got this. It's you've mastered this. So let the castle, the tower fall apart because a new better one is coming. So your third card is from the secret language of light and it is wellness. Look at the, the aura from the light forms a heart. Let's see what the book says about wellness. 24 is the number of this card. You are entering a time when your body will become stronger. If you have been or are sick, you are on your way to feeling better. Begin to focus on a sense of well-being. If you are healthy, you will be inspired to strengthen your body through yoga or another form of exercise. Your body is enlightened and knows how to heal itself. Every feeling, be it pain, butterflies, excitement, or love, is a message from one part of the self to another. Tune in to your body through meditation and ask what you can do to improve your well-being. Behind the human in the picture is the flower of life, a symbol that represents the process of creation. It is made up of overlapping circles that are a repeating expression of the first circle. It is a geometric metaphor reminding us that the nature of life is continual expansion. Your body takes you everywhere you go. So acknowledge, thank, and love it. So this is all about expansion. And that goes right along with these two cards. You've already mastered the sword or the truth. This is falling apart so that the new you can expand. It's almost like I gave the wrong metaphor with the, with the forest fire. I need to talk about the snake. The snake sheds its skin so it can grow. That, that skin got too tight or will be too tight. So it sheds that old skin just like the tower. And um, now the new reborn snake comes forth. And that is all about expansion. And interestingly, this person in this yoga position is holding a sword. And so is the king. In other words, 
you've mastered what you need to master. Now just let the rest of the stuff fall apart, okay? Fall away. Release. You'll be amazed at the good things coming. You will be amazed at all the good things coming because there's so many good things coming. I've seen it. I can feel it. And um, we just need everybody to concentrate on that to help make it come to fruition. So that was stack number two. Stack number three has the fabulous garnet for the stone. And I have a raw one here. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This is a raw garnet. And then I have a bag of polished garnet. Let's see if I can, come on, focus on that. There we go. It's kind of the same color as Kuan Yin there in the background. Garnet is so beautiful. It's got such a deep, a deep claret color. Garnets are known for stimulating success in business. Okay, there we go. If your business is not as good as it should be, just put three or more garnets on your desk or in your cash register. It is believed that if a garnet is placed under a pillow, it will help cure depression. They can be used to help a person be popular and improve self-esteem. They can help protect you on trips and bring constancy to friendships. Garnets are associated with the thyroid and spleen. They can help cleanse and purify both when held over the area. Helps in searching for and meditating on past lives as well. It is a stone of purity and truth, as well as a symbol of love and compassion. So that is your stone. You get the fabulous garnet. There, right there. Your first card is from the Radiant Rider Weight deck. And you get the High Priestess. This is a Major Arcana card. Your second card is from the Tarot Grand Lux, and you get the Seven of Cups. This is a complete contrast to stack number one, which was, you know, all about worry, lots of swords. Here we have the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups. And even just looking at first this picture, okay, and then this picture, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty happy about stack number three. So the, pre the high priestess, she's all about mysteries that you have yet to um, reveal or that have yet to be revealed to you. Um, so this is this can be classes that you're going to take or or that new job, the new things that you're going to learn or you waking up. Um, but it's those things that are coming to you that have not yet been revealed. But the thing is, you're confident. You, you've you got this. you got nothing to worry about. You're not living in stack number one. This is, this is confidence. And yeah, there's stuff coming at me, but pff, I got this. I'm, I got no worries. I'm just going to let the universe flow all the abundance and all the resources I need to complete my mission. And I'm going to be good with whatever is brought to me. And as a result... I get the castle, the rainbow, the filled cups. This is like 5D right here because this castle is up in the clouds. And it doesn't mean, oh, I'm daydreaming. No, that's not what it means. It means this is coming to you. We're working on it right now and we're going to drop it down on you. And you're going to be ready for it. This is like really super cool. Um those would be technical terms. You've got everything coming to you. You've got everything coming to you. You just have to have faith and know that you have everything you need inside you to be ready for it. And there's times when the universe bestows something upon me and I think, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with this? How am I going to, how am I going to do this? You know, where am I going? Blah, 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 blah. And my guides are like, you know what? Just chill. 
we're, we're just letting you know this is coming. This amazing thing is coming. And we're going to help you be ready for it. So you don't worry. You just go, oh, okay. Yeah, universe has my back. I got faith. I'm good. And then you get this. All good things coming to you. And remember that garnet. That garnet is all about stimulating success. So the fact that you have the garnet in addition to these cards tells me that whatever the universe brings to you, whatever amazing things the universe brings to you, you're going to be a success at it. So no worries. Your third card from the Secret Language of Light deck is the Divine Masculine, card number 32. I'll let you see the picture there. Pretty powerful. So let us see what the book says about card number 32. Everything has its purpose. You will not always understand what the purpose of something is. However, it is someone's creation and that is to be respected. If you don't like it, let it be the inspiration to create something more aligned with your soul's purpose. Consider all areas of your life and reevaluate any part that may not be working. You can be your own father by respecting your ideas and providing a way for them to manifest. You are a master of your own making. So now is the time to recognize your inner strength and motivation and to be a leader of your thoughts and emotions instead of a follower. Stand your ground, regain your self-respect, pick yourself up, and dust yourself off. This is not a time to force against or try to control external forces. This is a time for disciplining the way you focus and what you think about so you can create your dreams. Now, how interesting is it that that goes right along with this? I love it. So if you chose stack number three, remain focused, meditate, and just know that the universe is bringing you amazing things and you are ready for it, whether you know it or not. So that is stack number three. Let me get my singing bell here. For those of you who stay tuned all the way through, you get more singing bell. And I send you love, light, Peace, joy, happiness, success, prosperity, abundance, and divine health. All good things. And remember, love has a much higher frequency than fear and worry. I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. Namaste. Namaste.